Alaska County Sheriff was in Denver today testifying against a series of gun related bills. One of which some state senators claim could have prevented the Club Q mass shooting. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live at the state capitol in Denver to explain what people on both sides are saying about the contentious piece of legislation. Sean. Yeah, Barton Heather, expanding Colorado's red flag laws. It's a bill that Democratic lawmakers say will save lives that are threatened by gun violence here in our state. They also claim the accused Club Q shooter Anderson Aldrich would have been prevented if, if law enforcement executed a red flag order in a prior 2021 criminal case. But today, El Paso County Sheriff Joe Royball tells 13 Investigates that's simply inaccurate. Law enforcement officers and family members are the only people who can request what's called an extreme risk protection order. It allows a judge to determine if a gun should be taken away from someone who's deemed a threat to themselves or others. A new Senate bill wants to expand the list of people who can request an extreme risk protection order. Lawmakers want mental health professionals, teachers, and elected district attorneys on that list. Clearly we have a mental health crisis in our state. We have a suicide crisis in our state. And I think this law has saved a lot of the lives that would have otherwise been lost. But El Paso County Sheriff Joe Royball testified in opposition to the bill. He argues there are major flaws in the current law, namely how old the evidence can be when presented to a judge. We are allowing six month old information to try to predict that future. If information is a couple weeks old, judges are hesitant to, to sign a search warrant or an arrest warrant based on stale information. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office did not file for a red flag order in 2021 when they arrested the alleged Club Q shooter in a bomb threat case. But Sheriff Roy Ball is adamant it wouldn't have made a difference. In that incident would not have applied to ERPO. We used the letter of the law to secure the weapons at the time and ERPO would have applied to that situation. We executed a search warrant and seized all of those weapons at the time. They were not accessible to that criminal, the murderer. Despite Sheriff Royball's opposition to the bill, it did pass today along party lines in committee. It's now headed to the House of Representatives where another series of debates are on the horizon. Reporting live outside the state capitol in Denver, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates.